Hello guys, it's 971 here with his first narrated Pokemon Black 2 or Y2 or whatever. Um, narrated Wi Fi battle, good quality one. Yeah, I got my R4 recently. I had some troubles with the Wi Fi because it wasn't supported by my wireless internet, but I fixed that. But then I figured out that I um, needed to get three gym badges and go to Nimbasa to get the first recorder. So I took a little bit long. But I'm here and I'm here to stay. So, yeah, I have a UUL against a guy I found on Smogon Wi Fi Battle Finder. Yep. And yeah, judging by the team preview, I have a Scarf Rotom Heat with False Vision Trick. Yeah, it always works. I have um, an Intimidate Defensive Hitman Top. I have a Bisharp, just an attacking one. I have a Parrot Flinch, um, Serene Grace, toge Togekiss or Togekiss, whatever. I have a Spax Kendra and a Scarf Moxie Aerocross, yes. Oh, he has a Sableye, and yeah, I don't know if you know that, but um, Sableyes are really my personal en enemy, so yeah, I hate Sableyes, I hate them. And yeah, the match was a little bit funny and cool, and a lot of prediction, not really a lot of prediction, yeah, maybe, but yeah uh, it was a narrow victory which you will see later and yeah i am uh, just getting started on the world of pokemon so i don't tell me that i make mistakes because i, I do know i make mistakes and i think you if you if you know that you should leave that on the comment section below and tell me to improve something like having body slam instead of thunder wave in togekus or something that you would like to say and yeah, with that being said, I think I'm going to get in with the battle. So, as you have seen from Team Preview, it is, I'm gonna lead off with my Rotom Heat as he is going to lead off with his Rotom Heat. So I go straight into Volt Switch and I outspeed so I know he, he is not Scarfed. So, uh, well, even if he was Scarfed, I would know that, but now he goes for the trick and yeah, um, he's going to switch the items. I get the choice packs and he gets the choice packs, so yeah, we are all the same. So now I know what what item does he have, so I now just go for Draco Meteor. So I and specs, I can hit everything on his team except this Empoleon because it's a special defensive wall and yeah, it's not very effective against him. And But now I go to my Aerocross because I have close combat and now he goes to the Scald and I kinda hoping not to get the burn and he doesn't get the burn because everyone gets a burn on me but yeah it didn't on this case and he goes, goes to his Sableye and I forgot oh my god he has a Sableye close combat is in effect Sableye so I have to switch out because I'm locked into it and he goes for taunt and I was like huh okay and now I go straight into Volt Switch because I can't do anything to him but in I end up forgetting a crit he doesn't die but I got a crit but it will not matter, as we'll see later, because he has Recover and we will regain all his health back. And yeah, now, like I said, he goes for Recover and gets almost of his health back. And now I go for the Earthquake, trying... To, maybe... I thought it would do more, but yeah, it ends up not doing that much, because maybe it is it is his physical defensive wall. And now he goes for another Recover, and now he is... He is almost at full HP, so yeah, it's not looking good for me, but now I can go for the overheat and try to get as much, as much damage as possible, but yeah, I freaking miss, and yeah, that's not good for me. But now he goes for his Empoleon, and I do get the overheat off, it's neutral damage on the Empoleon, and it actually does a, a good chunk to a special defensive Empoleon, which is not bad and not good because, yeah, even though it... It's still on half HP, but now I get the Intimidate, it doesn't matter because I don't think he has physical moves. And now he goes for his Mion Shao and I was like, okay, I have to take something to reduce the fake out. But he ends up going for the U-turn. And yeah, I guess he can resist that, but yeah, now he goes into his Porygon 2. And I wanted to try the Power of Flinch thing by Thunder Waving that thing, but yeah, I end up going for the Aorus here, I don't really know why I did that, because if he would be paralyzed, it would be awesome, it would have helped me, see, it's, it's this how I learned, because I learned from my mistakes, but yeah, now I go into my Bisharp, and he gets the Thunderbolt off of me, it won't do that much, 
after leftovers I'm uh, is seriously a two hit KO so he's not going to recover all his health back yes I go for a brick break and I was hoping for it to do more but yeah does nothing to him almost you know this is not nothing but yeah not as good as I wanted so now I predict for him to switch out and go for the sword dance but now I actually can do anything to his Sableye because Brick Break, will, Brick Break will not affect it, um, Sword Dance, yeah, uh, Substitute, yeah, and Sucker Punch, yeah. So now I'm going for the sub, so he has at least to break my sub before um, doing anything, and I should have gotten for the sub when he switched out, not for Sword Dance, because now he wouldn't have the possibility to taunt me. Uh, to taunt me, no, uh, to burn me, so yeah, now I go for the Sucker Punch, try to get as much damage as possible, and it does a good chunk, but yeah, he has recovered, so he will regain all his health back, and this Sableye, it was the thing I hated on this battle, if it wasn't for the Sableye, I would have won, but okay, now I go for another Sucker Punch, but obviously he knows that he goes for the recover, good play on his part, and uh, yeah, it's basically the only move I can hit him with, so yeah, basically what I go do. But uh, now I think this is pointless. So I'm just going to switch out and go into my um, Kingdra, and he goes for the Nightshade. And Nightshade is going, doing a good chunk to my Pokémon, and I actually avoid the um, uh, Willow Ace. We now go for the HP Electric, uh, predicting the Empoleon, but he actually ends up not doing that, and yeah, it doesn't work out for me. And now I'm going to fire my uh, B sharp, and he's going to uh, be again at full HP. So it's always at full HP, and goes for the taunt. And the taunt, uh, yeah, I cannot use turn right after taunt, so I cannot use the power of flinch thing. But now I go for an air slash and get the flinch. Yeah, because of serene grace helps it. But power of flinch would be better. But uh, like I can do that, and now it goes gets the burn off me. And I'm screwed right now. I go for another air slash, and yeah, I get a crit and I good, <laughs> which is awesome. But yeah, not good because I don't like to win because of X. And now he goes for his Rotom and gets a Thunderbolt and kills me. I think, yes, it does. And um, yeah, I was just basically wanted to have a safe switch in into something. And I go to my air cross and get a close combat on it. And yeah, it's dead. So I'm going to get the defenses drop, but now I get the Moxie boost. And with the Moxie boost, I can hit anything hard on, on his team. But the Mian Shao, yeah, fake out. I was actually thinking for me, oh, I can live this, but actually I can. Yeah, it's the Life Orb, so I'm not going to be able to leave it from that range. But now I get the Intimidate off of it, and he knows that it can do anything to me because I'm a defensive wall and with the Intimidate, yeah. So I get, I try to get the Toxic, but he switches out. And yeah, Empoleon doesn't get effective, but now I get the close combat off and he kills his Empoleon, which is good because I can now freely um, use my Kingdra Dragon type moves because yeah, his special defensive wall is dead. So I'm going to switch out out of here because I want to get Intimidate off on this thing. And he goes for the fake out. Um, doesn't kill me, of course, uh, but now I can get the overheat off and try to get as much damage as possible on that thing, but it actually end up, ends up killing, so. Which is awesome. And now he goes into his Porygon 2. And the Porygon 2 is not that big of a deal. He has Levitate, but I I have um, Earthquake, Earthquake, but I have no reason to Earthquake that thing. Judging by the fact I have um, close combat on Aerocross. And now I can get um, Hydro Pump on it. As Choice Packs Hydro Pump doesn't do that much. Doesn't do as much I was, as I would like. But yeah, go for another Hydro Pump and get as much damage as possible. And yeah, it goes for the Thunderbolt. And yeah, it kills me on that range. But yeah, I, I now go into my um my Eaton Top. And it goes for the Recover because it's faster. And I know, okay, the Trick Room will wear off this turn so I can get the first close combat off. And now it's, it's, I can now speed because the Trick Room will be off. And yeah, I cannot speed in close combat, and he's dead. So, which is awesome. But now I'm at minus two defenses, which is not good. But I need to have a safe switch in into um, Rotom because I have electro type moves. But um, seeing this, I did something wrong, which was um, I should have um, do did um, going to Rotom 
and then father it and now and then I'm going to eat myself get intimidated off of it and yeah but he kills me with the moxie I don't think the moxie matters but okay that's the end of the battle I hope you enjoy subscribe me for more please and leave a like it helps me a lot and yeah until next time later